What's going on, everyone? My name is Joe Metz. I am the uh, co-founder with Ben of Fantasy Forecast. Uh, we've been talking about how we can expand our brand more and whatnot, so I really wanted to start by making a video series of tutorials uh, to really help you improve your DFS roster construction. For my first video, I'm going to introduce you to a website called Fangraphs.com. I'm sure a lot of you have used it before and heard of it, but for those that haven't, it's an absolute goldmine for sabermetrics and advanced stats. And it's what I use the most uh, when I build my personal MLB DFS lines. I've compiled a list of my favorite advanced stats to use for hitters uh, when building lineups. I will make another segment on pitchers alone, which will come a little later. But again, today I have uh, compiled a list of my favorite stats for hitters. Uh, the first being WOBA, weighted on base average. To do this, um, we will search just a random player. We can do Bryce Harper uh, to use as our example throughout the video. So, okay, once you get to uh, Bryce Harper's player profile, you see all of his basic information, columns he's been listed in and talked about, um, and then you get a lot of tables of data. And it can be quite overwhelming at first, but I, I assure you it's, it's well worth navigating. Everything up here, you see graphs, season stats, or excuse me, uh, wrong, wrong menu, standard, advanced, batted ball, win probability, pitch type, plate, discipline, fielding, and value. Those are all of the tables that you see on the page. So if you want to easier navigate it, you know which one you want to go to, click on it. It'll take you right down to it. So for Woba, we're going to click on Advanced. I don't know why it's not taking me down there, but scroll down to Advanced. What was going to be the uh, second last column on the right? Woba, again, stands for Weighted On Base Average. Um, it measures a hitter's overall value. Uh, it's a lot like batting average, but it takes into account extra base hits. So home runs are worth more than triples, which are worth more than doubles, which are worth more than singles down the line. Um, and when I look at WOBA, I typically look for any number over uh, the 340 to 350 area. Once you get north of 350, then you're starting to flirt with an elite number. So obviously, you see Bryce Harper as a career career wise has an extremely extremely good hitter. A 503 WOBA this year is unheard of, a little unsustainable, hitting the ball extremely well. Here, let me quick. Uh, get rid of the minor league stats. To do that, if you want to get rid of minor leagues, just click the minor leagues and it comes up with only the stats obviously pertinent to your lineup. The second stat I look for after weighted on base average is isolated power, which is abbreviated ISO, which is right here in the middle of the table. ISO measures a hitter's raw power and tells you how often they hit for extra bases. Um, a player could go five of 10 with five singles and still hold a 500 batting average, uh, which would be the same as a player who goes five for 10 with five home runs. Same batting average, obviously not worth as much. And ISO takes that into account and, and weights the extra base hits heavier. When looking at ISO, I typically look for a 160 to 170 number as a, as a baseline, uh, which means a, a player has some pop. But when you when you get around and flirt with the 200 range, that's when it gets to be elite. You see again, Bryce Harper, a 347 ISO, a bit unsustainable this season, uh, but nonetheless hitting the ball extremely well and hitting it far, obviously, finding some gaps. The third Advanced stat that I look at is called WRC plus or weighted runs created, which is the last column to the right of WOBA. It uh it values a hitter for their outcomes rather than just the hits themselves because not all hits are worth the same. Um, uh, an RBI single is obviously worth more than an, uh, just an, an everyday single, um, and WRC plus accounts for that. It takes the runs per plate appearance and scales it to hundred to be average with parks and leagues adjusted. And it's based on WOBA. So obviously, if 100 is average for WRC+, plus, a 211 WRC+, plus is phenomenal. Anything above 100 is going to be above average, obviously. When you get to when you get up at 197, 137 is great. 211 is insane. These are some elite numbers from an elite player. A couple other advanced stats that I look at. You scroll down one table to the, the batted ball table, and you look at hard contact percentage right over here. Harcott, and you can also, excuse me, you can also expand the uh, names to get a little bit more in-depth classification and, and explanation on them. Uh, hard contact percentage is any anytime the player hits a ball classified as hard contact as it as the name ensues. Um, it, it takes into account exit velocity, projection, or trajectory, all, all that kind of stuff. You want to usually look for a percentage around 35 is usually a, a good targetable percentage. Bryce Harper's obviously had his ups and downs in his career. Right now, 36.7 is, is pretty in line with what you would expect from his type of hitter, which is a great number. Two years ago, 40.9 was absolutely elite. So again, 
what you want to do when you look at hard contact percentage i usually typically match that with the opposing pitchers fly ball percentage which it'll, it'll look the same on a pitcher's table as it will a batter's but the numbers may be a little different say for example this isn't bryce harper on this table right now and it's clayton kershaw for example if he has a 39.7 percent fly ball rate and bryce harper has a 36.7 percent hard hit rate there's a good chance he get a hold of a home run in this matchup obviously clayton kershaw's Fly ball percentage is going to be a bit lower. He's, a, he's an elite pitcher. Again, just an example I was using. The last grouping of advanced stats that I use come in the plate discipline table, or tables, excuse me. Um, the three I look at are the O-swing percentage, Z-contact percentage, and swing strike percentage. O-swing percentage is the uh, percentage of pitches outside of the strike zone that a batter swings at. Obviously, when it comes to analyzing batters, the lower the better. Bryce Harper's posting a career best 24% in that category right now. Z contact percentage is the percentage of pitches inside the strike zone that a player makes contact with. In this opposite of O swings per- percentage, excuse me, the higher the better. Again, Bryce Har- Harper posting a career best 88.4% Z contact. The final one I look at is swinging strike percentage. This is just the number of strikes a player whiffs at. Again, obviously, the lower the better. So these last two years have been some career best for Bryce Harper. Last year being 8.6%, this year being 10%. Still an extremely respectable number. When you look at these numbers, as the table implies up here in play discipline, this shows how a player is disciplined at the plate, their baseball IQ, uh, what they're swinging at, stuff like that, how patient of a hitter they are. Um, A player like Bryce Harper this year has really taken control of his plate discipline and improved his numbers across the board. And that's something to look for. They'll generate better plate appearances, see more pitches, which in turn will lead to better results. Now, this is a lot of information to break down. And again, some of you may have heard of it and already use it. Some of you haven't. The easiest way to do it for me is to, instead of looking at just their season stats, go to their splits. If it'll load. Here it goes. All right, so the splits again can break it down by handedness, the count, situational hitting, what kind of hit it was, every split you can think of. Most important in splits is handedness. So obviously, Bryce Harper against right handed hitters, or right handed uh, pitchers, excuse me, you go to advanced, against right handed pitchers, hits them to, a, to the tune of a 493 Woba and a 400 ISO. Against left handed pitchers, he has a 543 Woba, 143 ISO. So we've seen the ball from a Woba standpoint, seen the ball extremely well against both hand handedness pitchers, um, a little better versus lefties, which is a little unusual being a left-handed hitter. Now, you can take that a step further and look at the ISO. He's getting a lot more extra base hits against right-handed pitchers when he holds the platoon advantage than he is against left-handed pitchers when he doesn't. So Bryce Harper versus a righty seems like a lock if you can afford him on most slates with a 400 ISO. Batted ball. You can look at the batted ball distance, and, or distance, excuse me, uh, batted ball percentages and splits as well. Hard contact is better versus righties as it is versus lefties, and that indi- is also indicated in the ISO. Harder contact, higher ISO. They don't have um, the plate discipline numbers for splits down here. So when I look at splits, I usually stick to hard contact percentage, WRC+, plus, WOBA, and ISO. Other stats you can look at are obviously batting average on balls in play, the basic uh, on base percentage, slugging percentage, strikeout percentage is another big one. The lower the lo- the lower the better. Uh, walk percentage, the higher the better. Again, a ton of advanced stats that y- you can take a step further in your roster construction uh, beyond just the home runs, average stolen bases, RBI stuff like that. Give you a bit of a leg up um, on your competition. Again, this is Fangraphs.com. Take you back to the homepage. Uh, I just broke down what I look for in a hitter, how to um, analyze these these advanced stats that I, I weigh heavier than others. And there are some for pitchers as well, which I will cover in the next YouTube segment in the in the coming days. Um, so again, thank you so much for tuning in. We really, we really, really appreciate the support uh, Ben and I do. And uh, we hope to have more content like this out for you guys. Again, thanks for tuning in. Follow us at Fan Forecast on Twitter. Check us out, fantasy-forecast.com. My personal Twitter handle is at jmets34. Thanks, guys.